Hey Superstars, welcome back to one of my Through the Mail autograph videos where I doodle a player and bug him for an autograph. My buddy Brandon Stebbins sent a Corona care package with his pack of 1990 Upper Deck, so we're going to find ourselves our next lucky victim. Dougie looks good, let's give him a shot. I'd like to get something off my chest. Something's been bugging me lately. All of my life, I've always had an arch nemesis. Someone to be the yin to my yang. That sounds weird. In grade school, it was Dave G. Dave's family won the lottery and he had a super cool pool in his backyard. But he never invited me over. He also used to make fun of my big ears in the lunch line. Unacceptable behavior for a nine-year-old for sure. In high school, it was Jesse Jones. Jesse was nice, but she was all like, Look at me, I'm all important, presidenting all the clubs, getting all the good grades, making all the prettiest art. Basically, anything I could do, Jesse could do it better. Well, look at me now, Jesse Jones. I don't see you drawing Doug Desenzo on YouTube. In college, it was Allison Hess. Allison, much like Jesse, always seemed to work harder than me, always seemed to take school more serious than me, and always seemed to be annoyingly nice to me, even though she had a little southern Ohio twang and always called me squat. I called her cockroach, because I'm kind of a jerk. But for the last few years, I have not had an arch nemesis. No one to keep me grounded, no one to keep me motivated to be better, and no one to take the brunt of my unwarranted ire. And now I've got a big head. I'm a huge egomaniacal mess, but I digress. What were you we doing? Oh yeah, Doug DeSenzo. You all know I'm a huge Indians fan, but in the early 90s, Ryan Sandberg's Cubbies were my joint. And Dougie was awesome just for the fact that he was an outfielder that would occasionally pitch. 12-year-old Scott was super impressed. That was going to change the game of baseball forever. Oh, look at that. I'm done already. I didn't even get to make up any nonsense. Why do I draw so fast? Anyway, there's my doodle and that 1990 upper deck and some others just because. I hope he doesn't take offense to that big old schnoz. Custom sticker and off to the mailbox. Hmm, let's see what we got. Oh, it did not seal the envelope, and that's no good. Nothing. I think I just found my new arch nemesis. Curse you, Doug Desenzo. Curse you all the way to Buffalo, New York. All right, you know the drill. Like, comment. <laughs> What's this? This is not my SASE. Look at that. He used his own postage to send this back to me. Sign the cards beautifully and sign the doodle. Huh. I guess you're not my arch nemesis after all. Thank you so much, Mr. Desenzo. The doodle is for sale at Autographs for a Cure, so go buy it. And thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And if any of you have any interest in being my arch nemesis, please let me know. Take care, y'all.